In this big tractor power video, we're going to take a look at Gearinghoff's TrueFlex Razor Draper Head, and we'll be out in the field with a pair of Class 9 Case IH 9240 Axle Flow Combines running 40 foot TrueFlex Razors, and we'll see these new Gearinghoff Draper Heads in some pretty tough conditions harvesting winter wheat in western Kentucky during the 2017 winter wheat harvest. Gearinghoff's TrueFlex Razor Draper Head is new to the grain harvesting market, but Gearinghoff is not new to harvesting grain. The company has been producing quality corn heads that are sold worldwide for many years. The company is best known for its chopping corn heads and for its folding corn heads. The company makes a variety of headers that include standard 30 inch rows all the way to ultra narrow row models. They make available specialty units that are 18 to 24 rows wide and of course the folding row models on large 30 foot and 40 foot platforms are very popular from gearing off. Before we head out into the winter wheat fields of western Kentucky to see the Gearinghoff TrueFlex Razor at work in the field, I wanted to take a moment to walk around it here at the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. You can see it has three sections of cutter bars and three individual reels, and this is going to really help this header work on uneven terrain to gather every bit of the crop. It also has center knife drives that remove the need for heavy gearboxes on the end and has counterbalances up near there in the feeder house to balance the head and we'll see that when we climb up in the cab of the combine in the field. Again, here's that four inch end point. There are no drives or gears on it. You can see here in the cutaway and that really helps gather the crop inside and it doesn't damage any of the crop on the outside of the points and that's a good advantage for Gearinghoff. We'll come around here to the back and we can see the depth control wheels. You can see this header is all the way maxed out on its flex and we'll see it working in the field going over similar terrain. And those depth control wheels do a great job in helping it flex over the ground and work in some pretty tough conditions that we'll see here in just a moment as we get out in the field with the 9240 Case IH Combines running 40 foot draper heads. In western Kentucky, where Big Tractor Power caught up with this pair of Gearinghoff TrueFlex razor heads, farmers are looking for a good and reliable draper head. In this region, double crop beans follow winter wheat, and farmers need a header that is going to be able to match their combine and push through standing wheat to down entangled wheat conditions. And when this particular farm was looking for a 40 foot draper head to pair with their Case IH 9240 Axle Flow Combines that are 410 bushel Class 9 machines. They looked at the Gearinghoff TrueFlex Razor because they've been running a 24 row Gearinghoff corn head for a few seasons now and have been very impressed with the reliability of Gearinghoff headers and for the service and support that they receive from the company. The day that Big Tractor Power caught up with the Gearinghoff TrueFlex razor heads, the farm was harvesting a field that had been damaged due to a freeze, and 75% of this field was flat as a pancake. And these Gearinghoff TrueFlex razor heads with that flexible cutter bar and the three section reels were really shining. These big 9240 combines were running at four and a half to five miles per hour in tough conditions, and the Gearinghoff headers we're lifting up the grain right off the ground and getting it into the combine and despite the tough conditions and the freeze this field still yielded about 85 bushels per acre for the farm. Here we have a cab view 
of the TrueFlex Razor Draper head, and you can see from the stubble behind the header, it lives up to its name. It's cutting right to the ground like a razor, and it's bringing a lot of matted wheat. You can just see it slicing through here. Again, we're running about four and a half, five miles per hour, pulling in 40 feet of pancake flat wheat, and it's getting it all right up there in the header, and it does a great job. You can see again, here's the other 9240 looking out from the cab window. That is some tough, flat wheat, and these headers are really salvaging this crop and putting it up in the grain bin where it belongs. Another feature to look at is technology. These Gearinghoff headers are smart, adapted. They have a lot of different features. They have airflow. There is seven sensors underneath the combine that we'll see when we get back out of the cab that follow the terrain and help this header work over uneven conditions. Again, you can see here it's got two counterbalance weights because it doesn't have all the gear drives down in the endpoints of the header. It has two counterbalances running in the center to help balance that header and they also help pull in the grain a little bit, especially in conditions like this when it's pulling in big bunches of crop. And as we're going through here, you can see those belts just bringing all the wheat in. And then when the combine comes to a point where it turns around, we'll see those counterbalances again, just slicing right over the ground like a razor, pulling in this matted crop. And uh, it's doing a very impressive job. And here now we can see those counterbalances that um, shake back and forth. And this is to offset the um, four inch um, endpoints on the outside of the header. It just does a great job. You can see that stubble's cut right down to the ground, but there's no uh, matted straw left down there. So we'll head back in and you can start seeing that matted material come right back up as the header works through another pass in these tough conditions. Here we can see those sensors that we saw up in the monitor in the cab. This header has a lot of smart technology and those yellow tabs that are hanging down follow the ground train and allow the operator to monitor the flex of the header as it works across the field. This header also has center drive knives that remove the need for heavy gearboxes on the ends and that's where those counterbalances that we saw spinning around near the feeder house help balance the head. And these center drive knives really cut the ground like a razor and as we see this true flex come up right next to us, we'll see what a good job it does in slicing through this flattened wheat. Again, that four inch dividing point on the outside is slicing a straight line right through this standing and flat wheat, and it's not knocking anything over on the outside of the pass or pulling anything in or knocking grain off. It's just cutting that straight line and getting everything into the header and we can just see the um, reel is being able to flex right down to the ground and pull that in and you can see it's just slicing all that matted straw and grain right into the head and cutting the ground like a razor living up to the true flex name
We hope that you've enjoyed this big tractor power video featuring the Gearinghoff TrueFlex Razor Draper Head. It was really impressive watching these headers at work out in the field, especially in extremely tough conditions. In the last half of the video, you can see the 40-foot headers as they flex and roll over this terrain and bring in the matted crop. And it's that three-section cutter bar and the three-section reel that really shine in these tough conditions, getting the crop into the combine. If you'd like to see more videos of big farm equipment in action, visit BigTractorPower.com and click on the YouTube logo in the middle of the website, and that'll take you to the YouTube channel of Big Tractor Power, where we have over 1,000 videos of farm equipment at work. You can also follow us on social media, including Facebook, where we do pictures and farm equipment history posts on a daily basis, including Machine Crush Monday, Tractor Tuesday, Wheel Wednesday, Throwback Thursday, and Four Wheel Drive Friday. You can follow us on Twitter, to see our latest video releases and on Instagram where we share pictures and short video clips of machines that we're currently filming out in the field. And as always, thank you for watching.